Hey guys, it's Sharon Vegas and in this tutorial today I'm going to show you how you can create the very on trend marble style candles. In this tutorial I'm going to show you two of my favorite techniques to create this really cool marble effect and each technique creates a slightly different marble effect to the candle. Now today I'm using soya wax but you can use whatever wax you like, um, like coconut wax, a uh, blend of soya and coconut wax, you could use beeswax, uh, probably, actually no, probably not beeswax because beeswax is an ideal for container candles and you can get white beeswax but generally it's always yellow um, but you can use powder and palm wax whichever wax you prefer for your container candle but today I'm going to be using um, good old soy wax um, but blends are always great as well I just I'm using soy wax today because I generally prefer to use soy wax in my container candles for a lot of different reasons but anyway I feel like I'm rambling on I'm going to be showing you two different effects um, to create some really cool marbling in your candle obviously you're going to need your wax some um wicks for the size of candle you're going to use and obviously your containers need to be clear um with no patterns because otherwise it ruins the effect of the marble and whatever sort of candle dyes you definitely need to use liquid candle dyes for these two techniques wax chips um, will not work so the liquid candle dyes that i'm using today are just from aroma and I've got these two here, so I've got a peach and I've got a pumpkin that I will be using in my candles today. These ones are super strong, so a little bit goes a really long way. So I don't even think I used a whole drop in each candle. And these candles are quite large, so they are super strong. But you can buy um, liquid dyes from quite a few different places, so you don't have to necessarily get them from here. To start with, I've prepped my container with my wick and I'm just pouring my wax in. I've melted it down to the correct temperature. For this particular wax, it had to be poured around 65 to 70 degrees. And then I've just let it sit for a little bit. It took about 20 minutes to get to this stage where I noticed that it was starting to set on the bottom. And this is how we're gonna do our first marbling technique. With a skewer or a toothpick, whatever you've got on hand, I just grabbed a little bit of my liquid dye, so this is the peach color, and I'm gonna start swirling that around in my container. The reason why I wait for my wax to start to solidify a bit is if I do it when I've freshly poured the wax, you'll find that the liquid dyes will just blend too much through the wax because it's really fluid because it's still nice and hot, and you'll end up with just a colored candle. But when you wait for it to start to set that little bit, when you do add in your colored dyes, you'll find that it will actually hold into the areas that you've added it in. Now, I've waited for quite a bit for this to set, but if you want it to blend out even more than what I do have, then just do it a little bit sooner. If you are brand new to candle making, I do have a beginner's guide to soy candle making. So definitely go and watch that as I'm not going to go into too much detail about all of the basic prep, just more about the technique in this video. So if you are brand new, it's definitely a good one to watch just about melt times, adding fragrance in um, and all of that that you need to know to get started. For my second container candle, I'm just adding a little bit of soy wax to the bottom. It was about half a centimeter to a centimeter. It just kind of depends on how big your container candle is. So I've just added that in and I'm gonna be double checking the temperature before I do start to swirl. You need it to be under 65 degrees for this one, just because if you do once again, try this technique when it's, the wax is too hot, you're gonna find that the dyes just blend out. So I've got my little bit of my soy wax in the bottom. I've added a little bit of my color. This one I think is the pumpkin one. And then I'm gonna tilt my glass jar to the side. And as I do that, it's gonna create a swirl in the wax with the dye. And then I'm just gonna roll it around, which will give me that really cool marbling effect. You wanna go nice and slow, and you wanna just double check before you do start to move it too much, that the wax is at that stage where it will just cling and dry quite fast. Because it is, if it is too hot, it's just gonna blend all of those colors out, and it's just gonna pour straight down from the side of your container. 
Now you don't want to go too high. I did go a little bit higher than what I should have when I was doing this because I was trying to look through the camera lens and I couldn't really see that well. Um, so you want to go about as high as you would, you're going to pour your wax in your container. You need to let the first layer of wax fully set before you do pour in the rest of your wax. If you pour too soon and the wax hasn't fully set, you're just going to find that it's going to blend in with the rest of the wax and you're going to lose that really cool marble effect. You also want to pour your next lot of wax at the coolest point that it can be poured just to stop it from melting that first layer. So this particular wax I poured around 52 degrees. It was right at that coolest point where it was still able to be poured, but it wasn't going to be too hot where it's going to melt my first layer. Then I also, once it did start to solidify a bit, I just got a little bit more of my liquid dye on my skewer again and just swirled it around the top just to add that marble effect on the top of my candle as well because I didn't add any color into the wax that I've just poured. So it would just set with a normal soy white base. So if you wanna add a little bit more marbling to this candle, just add a little bit more dye on top once it has started to solidify a little bit. So these are my two finished candles and I think they look great and I love both techniques but I'd love to hear your thoughts about which technique you prefer more. Um, you've got this one with just the one colour and it's the one that creates more of what I like to think of as more of like that stone look marble. You don't get a lot of control over what happens with the patterning because as you roll the wax around it does its own. With this one I like it as well because you can create more defined lines and like style with it and you can really see the two different colors that are through it and I feel like you have a bit more control over this one because you're adding the color and swirling it around to your choice so you can add like as much or as little and kind of work with it and then I've also just added that little bit of color right at the very end to the tops and I've gotten some beautiful marble tops but you don't have to do that it just lets me have like a marble candle the whole way through otherwise when I pour the wax just straightens that if I didn't add that it would be just white on top um, so that's why I like to add it in because it looks like it's marbled the whole way through but let me know in the comments below what your favorite technique was I'm always really interested to find out but I'm really loving these. I feel like they're super on trend at the moment. Marble candles are probably going to be like that next big thing that everyone has to have. Um, so I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe as I post new videos every single week, all to do with like arts and crafts, candle making, jessamite, resin, all of those fun things. Um, and if you are new, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you get notified every single time I do upload. So thank you guys so much for watching.